Hello beautiful people, welcome and thank you so much for joining me on another one. My name is Senda and yes, here on this channel I talk all things fragrance and lifestyle but of course it is mainly fragrances for those who are new here. You are truly, truly welcome for those who are back for another one. Thank you so much, I appreciate the love and support as always. If you enjoy this video in particular as well as this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit that like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe guys. It does definitely help the channel reach more audience so definitely click subscribe as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is a new video on the channel. Guys today I am doing something different that I have seen on YouTube uh, in different ways, in different ways, in the fray community, in different niches as well. And this is called YouTube Made Me Buy It. But yes, yeah, so we're doing a YouTube Made Me Buy It type of video on fragrances. And I'm so excited. I've seen people do it in the fray community as well. And I said, oh, cut, I'm going to jump on this train, you know? I'm going to jump on this train because definitely you know it. There are fragrances that I have bought myself because YouTube say buy it. Because the hype was so real that I was like, okay. I'm 100% convinced this is the real deal and some worked some were just like why <laughs> but basically I'm so excited to be part of this little trend and I know myself I've recommended fragrances to people that are just like why <laughs> so you know I'm also part of this YouTube meme by a crew you know you know so I'm so excited guys let's just dive right into this video as I said, we are doing a YouTube made me buy it type of video and I'm so excited guys. I sectioned these ones or I divided them into uh, the first three which I love and I'm so glad I bought them because of the hype and the next that I'm just like, why? That I'm not so in love with. So that's how I have it in this video and i have a total of six fragrances guys so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's just kick things off okay let's kick things off and not spend too much time talking because i know you guys are super busy i know i know so thank you so much for stopping by but my first one guys is a beautiful beautiful fragrance from the house of eve's Yves Saint Laurent. I, I want to sound French, but I don't think I can. Yves Saint Laurent. YSL. So we're talking about YSL's Lib Libre. I don't know however you want to pronounce it, but I think it means freedom. This is the one right here, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love, love YSL's Lib Libre. <sighs> the bottle, the packaging, it's a 10 out of 10. And mm. I know people have had mixed feelings for this one because some people say, Honestly, they expected more, but I think it's a simple, minimalist, classy, clean kind of look. And that's what you get with the juice. It is lavender. It is vanilla. It is orange. I think mandarin orange, but I don't know if that's it. Yes, it is a difference. There is a difference in there. But it's mandarin orange, and it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's elegant, guys. It's classy. It's grown up. You got your ish together, you know? You don't care about what other people say about you. But in a, in a safe kind of you don't care way, you know, it's not like I'm going out and doing the most, but you're just doing the most in like a clean, classy way where people are like, she's, she's fancy like that. She fancy, fancy, you know, that's what this one is. And I love this one. I'm glad YouTube made me purchase. So I recommend this one as well. If you love lavender base fragrances and you need them to have a little oomph to it. It's not too much oomph, but it's enough oomph, you know what I'm saying? My next one, guys, we are talking about the beautiful house of Mansera. I feel like I cannot do a video without Mansera these days. Why? Why is Mansera haunting me? But we are talking about Cedrat Boise, and I love this fragrance, guys. Honestly, I have mentioned this one so many times. I think it's becoming boring at this point. But the juice and this DNA, honey, it ain't boring. Not, not to any degree. Like, honestly, the hype is real and I am behind the hype. Because this one is legit. It's 100. <sighs> the smokiness, the leather in there, the, the citrus. <sighs> it's beautiful. It's Every time I sniff it, I always forget how good this thing is because, you know, and I'm trying not to, I could, I could spray this all the time. I promise you, I probably could wear this all the time, but I need to try different fragrances for y'all so I won't do that. But this is legit. I, I love this fragrance. I don't know. It's a 
addictive. It's a beautiful, beautiful done citrus from the house of Mancera. And I couldn't be glad that I couldn't be more than happy that I purchased this one. And I think this was probably what started the love of Mancera. It wasn't my first Mancera fragrance, of course, because when I first got my first one, it was not a good one. It was, uh, you know, it was, I'm still trying to figure out where to place that one. But that's not the point of this video. <laughs> the point is this one, guys, is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I love this one. I'm glad YouTube made me purchase it. So thank you, guys. Thank you for the recommendation and the hype because I am hyping this one too. So get, definitely get yourself a bottle of this one. It's beautiful. It's be beautiful. Beautiful. And my next one, guys, from the three that I truly, truly love. One that, okay, you saw it. We're talking about Balenciaga's Flora Botanica. It is a floral. It is green. It is, it is fresh. It is aquatic. I think I may be wrong. It is cannabis. It is everything good and safe and clean that you need. It's like a grown-up kind of clean, you know? It's like she's girly, but she's mature. She's ladylike, but she's still lighthearted she's not she's not like you know serious type of lady but she's serious but she's not she's serious but she's not i don't know if you guys get it but this one was hyped so much on the youtube that i said i need to purchase this and i'm glad i'm so glad i purchased this and at the same point i'm so upset that i got a, a small size and that's how much i honestly did not think i'd love this fragrance because i was like hey it's floral why is why but honestly i am so glad i purchased this but also regret that i got a small size so i'm definitely i did actually i keep saying this every time i pull it up i'm like i need to buy a full size because you never know girl you never know they could discontinue and those are the rumors i heard that it's probably going to be discontinued if it hasn't already been discontinued, which is very sad. But if you know, guys, definitely leave me with your comments down below. But Flora Botanica from Balenciaga is a 10 out of 10, and I highly recommend it, and I'm way behind the hype. Now, moving on to the other fragrances that I wasn't quite pleased. <sighs> guys, I hate to do this. I hate to be the one. Like I said, I have fragrances that I recommend that people are like seriously though. So guys, honestly, no hate towards these fragrances. I just didn't like them and they're just not for me. Starting things off with one that's very, very highly controversial because everyone, their grandmother, their mother, everyone, their daughter, their father, their, everyone has this fragrance, loves this fragrance. We're talking about more Galan from Galan and you know I love the house of Galan but this one, man, this one just didn't do it for me. This one was just like, mm, meh. It's a lavender fragrance too. And I forget what other notes are in here. I think it's supposed to be vanilla too. I don't know. Floral. I don't know. You know, it's the usual female fragrances. They put vanilla, lavender, some florals, and boom, boom, bada boom. But anyways, I think this one, honestly, for me, it was a boring fragrance. For the hype that it got on, let's just, let's just put that. Let's just drive that point home. For the hype that this fragrance has gotten within the community, in my opinion, I don't think it deserves this much hype, in my opinion. Okay, because I think it's a basic type of fragrance. <sighs> Should I say it's basic? I, oh, what can I say, guys? I probably shouldn't do all too much on this because I really killed this fragrance in the review that I did on it and I don't want to be that girl anymore. But <laughs> honestly, for the hype that this fragrance got to me, I just don't quite understand. It's boring. There's nothing exciting about this fragrance. I need some excitement. If you're going to be floral and lavender, you got to be different because we all get the same stuff for the females. Like, what? What? <laughs> But anyways, that's it. That's it. Let's cut this. Let's cut this, guys. Next one, guys. We are talking about one that I truly, truly wanted to be behind. Not because it's a bad fragrance or anything, because I think this is a beautiful fragrance. And the hype is definitely well-deserved. It is Prada's La Femme. So we're talking about the clean, soapy, office-type fragrance, which I truly, truly wanted. When I was purchasing this, I was looking for that type of fragrance, and I thought this would be it. But it proved to not to work with my dna my body said nada no we are not here for this game we are not playing this game we don't want your skin because it ain't the chemistry honey the situationship was really a situationship it did not work at all like it was like i came from the gym i was sweaty and it was this bad mixture of just 
fragrances, just scents meshing together that didn't work. And I say that in a way that's almost like scary, but honestly, it's a beautiful fragrance. If this fragrance works with your skin, I'm so glad because I would recommend this fragrance if it works with people. It just didn't work with me. I don't know if it's the honey, the beeswax, the yellow florals in there. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But it did not work for me and I bought it because of the hype. So my cha-ching went to waste. But I definitely gave this one away. Or do I have it? I probably... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm probably... Someone has already claimed it. <laughs> but anyways, this one was just not working and it just didn't belong in the collection but I do I do think it's a beautiful fragrance my last one guys which I don't I wouldn't say it's much of a regret yet because I'm still trying to figure it out we are talking about La Belle La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier and this one guys is one that I am still trying to figure out I did spray it uh, on my wrist today just for the video's sake, which I will do again, just to get into the vibe, because I haven't done a full review of La Belle, but this is a strong, syrupy. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's so sweet, almost like a syrupy, medicinal kind of sweetness to it, uh, which I don't quite understand yet. I just don't. So this is supposed to be, I think, vanilla. It's fruity. Uh, I think it's earthy too in the the main accords, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what else do we have? I don't know if it's caramel kind of sweet. I, I honestly don't know. But let's see what we have with the notes because I did write them down. And you know, I'm actually reading it and I thought I would love this one because it's green, it's earthy, it's powdery, it's fresh. And I bought it at the time when it was almost summer and it's, um, it's better for colder months. So maybe that's why I'm saying it's not yet a no. But right now, I just don't quite understand it. Especially when I first got it, I was like, oh no, no, honey. And I know myself, I'm not really this type of fragrances where I like, I don't like the sweet, fruity type of fragrances. That's just not my vibe. Even the florals, it just has to be really different. But this summer, I've been rocking a lot of florals for some reason. But I know myself, I'm not usually the girl who gravitates towards the fruities the sweets it's not my deal it's not my deal but i'm trying i'm trying to be not that i want to change or anything but i'm just trying to appreciate them more but it's just so hard it's hard guys but one of the notes here we have pear we have bergamot at the top we have some floral notes in the middle we have leather which maybe that was one that i was like ooh, leather because <laughs> i love me a leather note but then we have a base of vertiva, a vanilla, amber, and mask, which I guess from the mask, it's supposed to have some animalic-ness to it. Because I feel like when people just throw in the mask, it's just like animalic and leather, animal. But <laughs> anyways, that's besides the point. That's besides the point, Sandra. The point is I am still testing this fragrance out and I don't know yet where I stand with it. I'm definitely going to have to test it more when it gets colder and then come back and say it's a definite no right now it's a 50 more actually i would say more of a 60 no and then 40 percent yes 40 percent being that i need to work with it on my body and see what it does how much it lasts and if it changes to something different so far it hasn't really done anything to be like yo pick me up so that's pretty much it guys if you guys enjoyed this video definitely hit me with your comments down below and i'm hoping i can do more of these youtube made me buy it type of fragrance videos type of fragrances type of videos and yeah if you have any fragrance that you purchased because of me and you're like girl this was not it let me know in the comments i'm really really i feel bad because i made you use your coin but, you know, that's how we learn and that's the beauty of fragrances and the beauty of life. If we were all the same, imagine how boring that would be. So it's awesome that we have different opinions, different things that we like. It's just beautiful. It's a whole variety of stuff, right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is a new video on the channel. As always keep looking amazing and even smelling better i will catch you on the other side until the next one it is goodbye for now